Hi, and thanks for joining me in this discussion of the low-level significant weather prognostic chart. In this video, we'll start out with an overview of the chart. After that, we'll work our way into the content of the chart and then how to use this chart. The low-level significant weather prognostic chart provides a forecast of aviation weather hazards, weather hazards such as turbulence, icing, and IFR weather. It's intended for pilots to be used in a pre-flight briefing to anticipate weather hazards, and it provides a snapshot of weather conditions some, at some specific time into the future. The chart covers the contiguous United States and its coastal waters. It forecasts weather, hazardous weather from the surface up to 24,000 feet. The chart comes out from the Aviation Weather Center, which is located in Kansas City, Missouri. The low-level significant weather prognostic chart comes out four times a day, and there are two panels. There's a 12-hour forecast and a 24-hour forecast. The uh, charts come out at uh, 1720, uh, 2310, uh, 530, and also 935 Zulu. But their valid times are forecasted into the future at uh, 06, 12, and 18 Zulu, uh, both the 12-hour and the 24-hour forecasts. The valid time is the time at which the weather conditions are forecasted to occur. So it gives you a picture right away of the hazards across a region at a particular time. The time is located, the time and date are located at the bottom left-hand corner of the map uh, with VT indicating the valid time in hours Zulu and then also the date and it tells you the type of product. The next item that we'll cover is the content of the low-level significant weather prognostic chart. The chart shows areas of weather flying categories, whether it be IFR, MVFR, or VFR conditions. It also shows turbulence. And then finally, it shows freezing levels. Uh, shown here are the symbology that is used to show turbulence, uh, IFR, MVFR conditions, and then also freezing levels. The low-level significant weather prognostic chart, chart shows three different weather flying categories. It shows VFR, MVFR, and IFR. VFR means that the ceiling is greater than 3,000 feet and the visibility is greater than 5 miles. MVFR means the ceiling is between 1,000 to 3,000 feet and or the visibility is between 3 to 5 miles. And IFR conditions means that the ceiling is less than 1,000 feet and or the visibility is less than 3 miles. Areas of IFR weather are enclosed in a red solid line. MVFR areas are enclosed in a scallop blue line and then VFR is everything else. Here are examples of IFR, MVFR, and VFR. Areas of IFR on this chart are North Dakota and also New York and Pennsylvania. Areas of MVFR stretch from the Pacific Northwest through Idaho into Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and then into the northeastern parts of the United States. And the areas that are excluded from that are all VFR. Turbulence is shown in this chart using standard symbology, one hat for moderate, uh, one hat plus a, another hat on top of that for severe. This chart forecasts areas of moderate or greater turbulence. They do not forecast light turbulence. Um, they use bold dashed lines to outline areas of turbulence, and then they will give you the base and the top of the turbulence in hundreds of feet MSL. Here are examples of turbulence and the symbology indicating the type of turbulence. For example, across South Dakota, North Dakota, you can see an area that is enclosed in a dashed orange line indicating um, turbulence, in this case, moderate turbulence. That's a symbol for moderate turbulence from um, 12,000 feet down to no, no number there indicating the surface. Uh, looking across um, Texas and Louisiana, you can see an area of turbulence that extends actually from North Carolina all the way to Texas. 
and the turbulence extends from uh, 24,000 feet down to 15,000 feet. The symbol indicates it's moderate turbulence. There are other areas of turbulence also indicated on this chart, and you can in, uh, analyze those. The low-level significant weather prognostic chart forecasts freezing levels. Starting at the surface, the surface, of course, uh, is where the surface of the Earth, uh, the temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. And they indicate that with a blue zigzag. Above that, they give you the freezing level, the temperature at which uh, zero, the lowest level where 0 degrees Celsius occurs. They will give you that forecast every 4,000 feet. So examples are 4,000, 8,000, 12,000, and 16,000 feet. You'll see lines drawn on this chart indicating the freezing level. They draw that with a dashed green line. If there are multiple freezing levels, then you'll see uh, one freezing level crossing another, and that is difficult to really interpret unless you have a sounding. Here's examples of freezing levels. For example, across California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, you can see the freezing level of 12,000 feet. That's 120. Across uh, Nebraska, Kansas, going down into Arkansas, you can see a freezing level of 8,000 feet. And then across North Dakota, Minnesota, and stretching down into Kentucky, a freezing level of 4,000 feet. The surface freezing level is the blue zigzag that you see going across uh, Wisconsin, uh, across Lake Michigan, into Ohio, Pennsylvania, and then the northeastern United States. Now we'll talk about how to use the low-level significant weather prognostic chart. Of course, this chart gives you weather hazards, so you should look at this chart for pre-flight planning to interpret where you might experience weather hazards, whether it be turbulence, IFR weather, or anticipate icing as a result of freezing level. And of course, always use the chart that is closest to your time of departure looking into the future. Here are examples of the low-level significant weather prognostic chart showing you areas of turbulence, uh, areas of IFR, MVFR weather, and then also freezing levels. Specifically, this is uh, valid at 18 Zulu on the 23rd of February 2023. This is a 12-hour forecast. The 24-hour forecast looks very similar, but the times are different. Looking at the lower left-hand corner, it shows you a valid time of 06 Zulu on Wednesday, the 24th of February 2021. And it tells you that this is a 24-hour a forecast of significant weather uh, for the low level. Low level meaning from the surface up to 400 millibars. 400 millibars is 24,000 feet. So that is an overview of the significant low-level significant weather prognostic chart.